Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Eleanor Nisha Father and this is my spoiler free review of Murder Games by James Patterson. This is my first James Patterson I've ever read and he's not an author I would normally ever pick up. I do not read crime fiction ever. It's not really a genre I read um, and I certainly have never read um, like detective kind of fiction, if that makes sense. <laughs> but um, I loved the TVA series adaptation of this book. Um, it was called Instinct and it had Alan Cummings in it and I really enjoyed it for the two seasons. It was on before it was cancelled, presumably because of the low ratings or whatever. And I really enjoyed that series. It was just a good fun and I like watching crime fiction like that. I love Criminal Minds, I love CSI and all that. Um, I just don't really read it ever. I prefer watching it. Um, so I thought for wanting to read more crime fiction, trying to get into it, and especially I, want to read, I wanted to have read a James Patterson. Um, I thought this would be a perfect place to start because I've watched the TV series, I'm kind of familiar with the characters and it would be an easier lead-in for me. And totally right, I really enjoyed this. Even though I'd watched the TV series a couple of years ago, I didn't remember who the bad guy was in this. And to be honest, even though it was about the puzzle and the crime, that's not why I enjoyed it because to be honest, I agree with a lot of the reviews that say that this wasn't particularly nuanced. Um, you've got this um, professor at Yale University who's a genius who's written this book on like abnormal behaviour and is super clever and they're, you know, they think he's got something he can help puzzle out the crime. And then you've got this spunky young female detective and they make a big crime fighting team and they go out and solve the mystery. But I don't think it was particularly complicated. I don't think it was... You know anything wow factor but I was hooked I read this in like two settings read it very very read it very very quickly I just found it really engaging and I loved the characters and for me that was more what pulled me through the story rather than the actual crime part which is weird because that's why you would pick up a crime story is because of the puzzle and the challenge um so yeah I don't know if this was the, the best example of a James Patterson book I could have read um to get an idea of his writing but I did like his characters Maybe you've read this or you've read other James Patterson's and you'd maybe say that this wouldn't have been a good place to start. But for me it was because I'd watched the TV series. Um, so I would maybe say if you're looking for a really detailed, nuanced puzzle story um, where you're trying to figure out what's going on, I don't think this would be the right book um, for little crime fiction I read. I can I can guarantee you that this is not the right story to have picked up. Um, but I enjoyed it and... It would have been fun if it continued as a TV series. I feel like it maybe would have worked better in that format and I enjoyed it. Um, I think there's only one other book, perhaps, and I think I will pick it up just to kind of finish this arc. And I really enjoyed um, the characters and I more so in it for that, I suppose. Um, yeah, this is just a very, very quick review. I don't really have much to say because it's so easily spoiled because it's a crime story set in New York um, and the characters are nuance. The main character is gay and is married to a man and that's really great to see as like main protagonist. It was um, like a focal point of the story and yeah I just thought it was well done in that regard but maybe not as a crime story which is a bit counterintuitive. <laughs> so let me know if you've read um, James Patterson if there's any others that you would recommend for someone who doesn't normally read crime fiction what's another maybe crime story that you think would be a good gateway book um, for me and perhaps other people reading in the comments um, because you're a follower of my channel you're maybe not into crime books because I don't talk about them um, but thank you for watching this video please be sure to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one